do you have some journals that are collecting dust or they're not selling? Well, no worries, because in today's video, I'm going to share with you five creative ways to market your journals. I'm Shari Deloach, and I am your digital publishing bestie, and I love to share these type of tips to help you to move the needle in your business and help you to sell your low content books as well. So the first thing I'm going to tell you that you probably will need to think about doing is hosting a journaling workshop or a challenge nothing beats participation with other people to help you to sell more journals so if you want to do a workshop you can organize an in-person or a virtual workshop where you teach journaling techniques promote provide prompts and create a a shared or shared journaling experience now if you want to do a challenge you can host a multi-journaling a multi-day journaling challenge challenge on you can do this on social media through your email list you can even do this on medium as well where you can provide daily prompts and encourage participants to share their journal entries using branded hashtags okay so let me give you an example so let's say you have a journal a gratitude journal and you can host a 30-day gratitude challenge on your youtube account okay you can ask participants to share their daily entries in the comments of your video using the hashtag 30 days of gratitude journal so that's a way that you can do a challenge okay now here's another way or a creative way where you can sell your journals is to collaborate with influencers or other brands that complement your journal so you can partner with influencers in your niche where they can showcase their your journal to their audience so that probably will look like you at least having given them be an affiliate so they can um, use their own link and then they can make money from your journals or you could do cross promotion where you team with other brands such as like pen companies um stationery stores or even coffee shops to offer joint promotions or giveaways okay so kind of get a little bit more creative and uh let me give you guys an example so let's say you have a travel journal right and maybe you have a host of these journals you can collaborate with other popular travel bloggers and create a limited edition travel journal that features the bloggers travel photos and their tips as well so it's kind of like them having their own little journal for their business except you create it and maybe you guys can do a joint partnership but this is another way where you can insert your business information inside the journal as they sell it so other people that may want to create journals or maybe they want a journal like that bloggers they can contact you so that's another creative way that you can sell your journals you can also think Think about creating um, eye-catching displays and pop-up shops too. So this is another way, it uh, looks like more of a collaboration too, where you can design a pillin or have a nice display in a bookstore and gift shops and coffee shops where you can showcase your journals. You can also think about doing pop-up shops where you can set up a temporary pop-up shop in a high traffic area. So this could go back, go into different coffee shops. Uh, this is gonna also, allow you to know that you need to think about collaboration so if you are picking up what i'm putting down a lot of this for you to be creative is to collaborate with other people okay and collaborate with what they are doing because you guys can benefit one another let me give you an example so you can have maybe if you have a mindfulness journal or if you're into the mindfulness and you have that brand you can set up a pop-up shop in a local mall during the holiday season so the holidays are coming up such as christmas and things Thanksgiving and then you got the New Year's coming up you can offer personalized journal um, consultation and gift wrappings right there at at the time okay so 
Now, when it comes to the journals and things, you probably would have to like put in an order where you can set up where you can go ahead and design their journal right there. Or if you already have a template of mindfulness journals, you can have your computer where they can put in their order, they pay you, you can design it right there and they get their information and you can send them a sample in, at their mailing address. So you'll have their mailing address and then you can show them how they can print it and all those different type of things. You can add names to them. This would make a great time, especially now as we're going into the holiday season, a great way for you to provide a service while you're there and later on you're also collecting leads for your business as well okay so also think about this think about offering subscription boxes or personalized journal so i just talked about a personalized journal but maybe we can do this in a like a subscription box so you can create a monthly or maybe a quarterly subscription box that curates different things with your journals maybe some prompts and some a pen or some, some some type of nice personalized items or um, notepads that you can put in there and you can have a subscription box. I think what works very well in this industry as well is having them quarterly. So every three months where they can sign up for a subscription, so they pay a small cost and then they're gonna get a box every three months. I think that would be very ideal, especially if you are, you're like me building that soft like digital publishing business. It's not something you probably want to do every single month, but you can do this once a quarter. And that way as well, you are sending out the boxes and then you can record your content of you sending it out as well to get more subscriptions. You're also creating that residual income as well. So you can set it up where they pay a small monthly fee, but they get a box every quarter, or maybe they can get something in their email every month to, you know, to keep them, to keep the subscription. So there's a, a lot of ways that you can do that. Um, and going back to the personalized journals as well, this is something that I do is that I offer customized designs and personalized names and their quotes and artwork on their own personalized journal so i know i mentioned that you can do that like right there maybe in the mall or something but you can also do this online so in the comfort of your own home you get customers and say hey i provide this service where you can have you put their name on it you can have certain designs you can even set this up in your etsy shop as well if you have an etsy account so this is a great way where you can get customers and provide a service now Here's an example. If you have a self-care journal, so let's say you love to create self-care journals, you can offer a monthly subscription box with a theme journal, self-care products, as well as inspiration quotes. That will be a great way for you to grow your business as well. Okay. So here's the last creative way for you to market your journals is to utilize user-generated content and testimonials. Okay. Let's go into the user-generated content. Have have you ever heard of UGC? There are UGC creators. There are people that you may you may have to pay a small fee to them or some UGC creators will take a free product and they will promote your, your product. So you can um, think about that too. Go onto platforms, especially on TikTok. They are very heavy on TikTok as well as Twitter. Just type in the word user generated, just type in the word U, UGC. So UGC creator, and you're going to find a lot of, especially women and men that are UGC creators look at their portfolio, see what they offer. Um, you can send them a message like on TikTok and say, hey, you know, I just created this journal line. I would love to send them to you uh, as a gift. And then you promote and you can ask them to promote you with a short 30 second video. You know, don't make it complicated for UGC creators because I'm also a UGC creator too. And I know a lot of UGC creators, you know, want compensation and some of them will take gifts so don't think that you have to have a lot of money to do this but it will be a great idea if you do but no worries you can also use testimonials too so if you have people that purchase from you in the past post those reviews post photos post on social media or wherever you are promoting your business and use a branded hashtag so that people can find you as well so of course i have an example for you so if you have a fitness journal 
and you can repost photos and testimonials from your customers who have achieved their fitness goals using your journal okay posting those I, what i've known being in business for a long time is that testimonials can go a very long way and it can really um, attract more people to your journal business and what for you to help you to sell more journals okay so i hope that these tips helped you to get the creative juices flowing when it comes to your journals and help you to sell more journals and um let me know in the comments which one that you're going to decide to take upon which one you want to implement right now i personally like the idea of setting up in a mall you gotta i'm gonna find out in my area how you can do that and have my laptop where i can create personalized journals and planners right there on the spot and that way they can make it for christmas gifts birthday gifts you can do those things so think about that as well but let me know in the comments so thank you so much for tuning to today's youtube video you know on this channel i talk all about creating multiple streams of income and digital publishing so make sure you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so when i upload a new video you will be the first to know now if you are into journals and planners and you want to learn how to design amazing journal and planners i want to give you five key strategies to help you to grow your journal and planner business so you can build a brand and stand out you can get instant access to the replay of this workshop go to charvitydeloach.com forward slash workshop it's absolutely for free and you are absolutely going to love it okay so now that we're getting into the holiday season and you want to jumpstart your your journal and planner business i have 7500 templates for you to go ahead and get started so go grab the templates for only 50 bucks and you can take those templates and do so much with them inside of the description i'm going to link a video where i share seven different ways that you can take these templates and make multiple streams of income so look at that grab your templates and go ahead and start implement it right away okay so thank you for tuning to today's video have a great one and i look forward to conversing with you in the comments